It's this Prime Minister's policies that is transitioning the auto sector right out of our country. He knows that his carbon tax is making it more difficult to keep jobs here in Canada because he said it himself. That's why they've granted a massive exemption to large industrial emitters. Now, workers in Oshawa are fighting to keep their jobs, Mr. Speaker. The least that this Prime Minister can do is help them in that fight. Will he repeal the carbon tax so that Canadian auto sector jobs can stay right here in Canada. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we have continued to invest in, uh, in businesses and in workers right across this country. Of course, our hearts go out to the workers in Oshawa who've, uh, who've, uh, who are facing these cuts, uh, but we continue to stand with them and we will continue to fight for them, Mr. Speaker. Uh, in terms of uh, understanding that the best way to secure jobs for the future is to take genuine action on climate change and aid our economies uh, and our, our families uh, to support and to thrive through the transition to a low lower carbon economy. That is what we are doing. The members opposite have no plan and instead uh, just try to play politics. The Honourable Order. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The Prime Minister is going to have to put on his teaching hat here and explain the logic on this one. So for large industrial emitters, the carbon tax will kill jobs and so they need a massive exemption to protect them from competition from other countries. But that very same carbon tax will somehow create jobs in the auto sector. That makes no sense, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. The carbon tax is bad for all Canadian workers. Now that we've seen the impact of this policy chasing future jobs and investment Way, will he do the right thing and cancel his carbon tax? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, obviously all of our hearts go out to the workers and we will plan on supporting them. Uh, and I have to highlight that when I spoke with the Premier of Ontario, we agreed we were going to put partisanship aside and focus on how we were going to support the families suffering uh, and, and uh, worried because of this decision it's taken. Uh, on the question of carbon tax, uh, of uh, pricing pollution and putting a price on that pollution, uh, we know uh, that making sure that pollution is not free is how we're going to move forward on protecting jobs, on protecting our future and protecting the environment for future generations. Thank <laughs> you.